Perfect. Okay. So thank you so much. First off, thank you. Uh, look, I don't know if you get this enough, but I wanted to take a moment to thank you for your contributions to television history. There's just so many <laughs> moments, you know, I love in the shield lamp. Um, thank Walking you. Dead, Sophia. I just want to thank, thank you. you. Um, thank you very, thank you very much. That's very kind. In this new project, Beacon Twenty Three, you find yourself working on this adaptation with a passionate audience again. With your experience working in this way, what are the key elements from the book that were crucial to preserve in the television adaptation of Beacon Twenty Three? And were there any aspects that required modification to better suit the medium? Great question. Thank you. Uh, well, the show was created by Zach Pat, wrote Avengers and Ready Player One or whatever. So he he really kind of started the adaptation. And um, I think he, he did make a couple of choices that differentiate the, the show from the world of the book, right? But he still wanted the central the central problem of Halen trapped on this lighthouse on the edge of space and how they travel and certain mechanics. And so so there's a lot of the book here. Now, when I started working on the show and I was talking to Hugh, right, the author Hugh Howie, um, we had a we had a real good heart to heart. And 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 we were talking about what was his intent? Why did he write that book and what was the tone he was going for? And he said, you know, I really want it to be about the characters. You know, it's not about the stuff we usually see in a space drama. This one's much smaller and it has more heart in a way you know it's not about the intergalactic war or something it's it's about these people trying to you know survive and and hold each other and all of that and and that's the show that i wanted to work on you know and that's what i saw in zach's original you know material and what you know stefan and lena were shooting and everything so so we kind of just hit that harder so i think you know that uh, it's really about the you know that it's a it's a character drama. It has scope, it has scale, but it's about the people. Now, for the fans who have read the Beacon 23 book, are there any particular moments or any of the character developments that you're excited for the book fans to see on the screen? Um, you, know, you know, I would say, I would say, you know, I would say we're trying hard to bring that world to life, you know, and and I would say there is a particular moment that I am very, very excited, but I, I don't want to say it because I don't want to spoil it. You know, I will say I will say there is this other moment that is a lot of fun in the book. And when it plays out on screen, it's it's, you know, it's our version. It's very it's very different. Um, I'm really fascinated to see how people feel about that you know i think i think we we went for it you know we always swung for the fences on this one so i, I i'd be interested in hearing from the fans about that but again i don't want to give anything away you're asking hard questions <laughs> <laughs> okay well you know i i know your time is very valuable i'm trying to be as brief no, 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 it's all good um i i've got one other question i have for you I, I understand this one might be a little tough to answer. Now, Beacon 23, it ends with a really intriguing cliffhanger. And and I'm going to yeah. save this. Leaving, and, and it leaves viewers, you know, like we're, we're really on the edge of our seat to see what the resolution yes. of the story is. Can you provide any insights into the decision to end the season with a a twist with the with that and and can fans expect answers to this mystery in future seasons okay great question okay um i've done a lot of seasons of tv and i know cliffhangers can be tough on an audience okay i and and you never want to jerk around an audience you just don't you know what i'm saying that's not fair and so so one of the things of so so I promise that, you know, we do have a season two in the can and hopefully the show finds an audience and people will see that and people will get answers. But one of the things that I think is that I love about the show is that the show um, continually surprises the audience and we keep kind of throwing curveballs at the audience. Right now, I know that genre fans can kind of feel like, oh, they're making it up as they go along. Or they're doing this or whatever. Trust me, if you stay with the show and, you know, when we get and, and I have plans for future seasons. There is a plan and it all comes together and it all delivers and it all and and it will be the kind of thing that we're trusting the audience to put the pieces together. Okay, so whatever gonna I I'm not 
a big part. This is not the show that, you know, is going to have a big, you know, 10 minute scene of exposition explaining this or explaining that. The audience is the only member of our show, you know, that gets all the pieces of the puzzle. Okay. So, so it's, it's, so I'm trusting the audience. I really am putting a lot out, but I take that trust seriously, you know, especially as a genre fan who has watched shows for years and then seeing shows trip at the finish line and go, ah, what did I, I want my life back? I've seen the movie. I, I know I'm a fan of this stuff. So, so when I'm writing and producing this stuff, I'm, I, it's the, man in me that is is excited about the show that's doing it i love making it i love writing it i love working with all the people involved but you know i i, I know what it's like to be a fan of, of of shows too so trust me it comes together there are answers they're not the answers you expect you know you're gonna be surprised you, you know but um trust me there, there's there's a plan here that's important that that's important and that's a conversation that I started having day one. Okay. So, so, so I may have worked on some shows that didn't have the answer. And I, trust me, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for those reassurances. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your time. Um, I'm looking forward Pretty, to thank you. this season. I hope to talk to you again in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Real pleasure. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.